Over to uh, Jeff, another check on your forecast. It was super windy when I woke yeah. up this morning, mm -hmm. and then that changed, and it rained really hard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just all kinds of things going on outside. I know. Outside. I, I wasn't quite ready for all the wind. Yeah. I stepped out of my car, had yeah. my hood on, and apparently it wasn't, like, tied tight enough because it just went right off, and I walked in soaking wet. Oh. Right, yeah. That was associated with a pretty strong cold front that uh -huh. swept through this morning, and that was what brought those gusty winds and the locally heavy rain. But now we're trying to, we're actually tra uh, transitioning back to scattered showers and the wind is settling down. Last night, the Weather Service issued a winter storm watch for our lowlands along and west of the Cascades, highlighting Saturday night through late Sunday night, uh, bringing uh, impacts in terms of the winter weather. We're probably going to see accumulations between about one to six inches of snow, and that's because we have varying microclimates at different elevations, and these will be scattered showers passing through, so not everybody will see the same amount of precipitation. Meanwhile, there's a winter storm warning posted for the Cascades. By tomorrow morning, we're going to have eight to 16 inches of new snow above 2,000 feet. And this is the view from 5,000 feet from our Mount Hood Ski Bowl camera. Looking down at Ski Bowl, just a gorgeous view this morning of all that fresh snow on the ground. Currently 28 degrees, and we got to check out Timberline Lodge, which is getting great use out of that snow tunnel. Boy, it looks pretty treacherous up there at about 6,000 feet in elevation. So let's get you up to speed on what the current snow depth is looking like. Uh, around Government Camper, the lower portion of Ski Bowl, we have about 44 inches of snow on the ground, about 57 inches at the upper bowl of Ski Bowl at our Ski Bowl camera, and there's 67 inches being reported at at the base of Mount Hood Meadows and nearly 80 inches at Timberline, according to the Northwest Avalanche Center. And snow is falling. We have another batch of steady precipitation moving in, mainly rain in the lower elevations, a wintry mix in our local hills, and that's transitioning to all snow, basically above 1,500 feet in elevation. Uh, we did see a transition to scattered showers, but yes, we have some steadier rain developing. But if you look offshore, we're seeing more pockets of rain showers as opposed to steady rain or a mountain snow that would be moving in. And we're also seeing a wintry mix on the lighter side of things, basically east of the Dalles along parts of Interstate 84 extending up into the Blue Mountains. So today, similar to yesterday, we're expecting on and off showers. It is going to be a touch cooler, so can't rule out a wintry mix in some of our local hills. Maybe a quick dusting here and there, which we've already seen, say, out in North Plains. Uh, the temperatures are going to be climbing to about 40 this afternoon in the metro area. And then tonight into uh, Saturday morning for Christmas morning, you will likely be seeing wet snow falling, having a tough time sticking down to sea level. Things are going to turn a bit more interesting though, Christmas night through the day Sunday and into Monday. That's when temperatures are going to be at or below freezing, so we have a much better shot at seeing accumulating snow in the areas that don't always see it. Uh, so let's just take a look at the forecast extending out into Monday morning. So between Saturday night and Monday morning, we have the best chance of seeing accumulating snow in our western valleys and along the coast. Maybe one to four inches and four to six inches as possible in our local hills. We will definitely see more snow in the coast range and the Cascades. In fact, we're going to be measuring the snow in the feet in the Cascades over the next few days. Today, expect on and off showers. We'll top out right in the low to mid 40s. Later tonight is when we're going to see more widespread mixing of the precipitation that carries into Christmas Day. Uh, more of our hills are going to see uh, snow accumulating and Christmas night into Sunday is when almost everybody is going to be seeing some light snow accumulations. Beyond Monday, though, we're going to be drying out, cooling off significantly. Highs dip below freezing with overnight lows trending into the teens. Carl.